Hello and welcome to the video. In today's video, you're gonna learn how to make your car quieter for track days, permanently louder, and maybe even remove the burbles so you get more of a, an 812 GTS racy vibe. So if you see my last video I've recently uploaded, 25,000 miles, with this M2 competition. In that video, I discuss some of the things that I've learned since the ownership of that car and my PCW exhaust that I've installed on the M2. Now, that exhaust has been absolutely fantastic. It's made the car very, very loud. So whilst the PCW makes it very, very enjoyable to drive around town and be super anti-social at car meets, etc., it comes with a lot of problems as well. For example, track days. Now, the recent Bedford track day that I did, the noise limit is around about 96 decibels, and this puts out about 102 decibels. A lot of people try to combat this problem um, when they do uh, exhaust upgrades is they only do the back box. So they might only change the back box and not do the full system or just completely keep the car stock. For me personally, I still wanted a proper exhaust system. I still have OPFs to be clear, but I wanted a full system so I could still be loud and antisocial. So to be able to do that and solve the track noise limit problem, I'm going to show you today how I've done that. Also, I'm gonna teach you today how to remove the burbles on my M car and how you remove burbles on M cars completely altogether. Disclaimer, this isn't a permanent solution. We're gonna be using an app on my phone where you basically turn the features on and off. So whatever I do today, I can always reverse them. I can put it back to stock if I want to, just play around the features as and when. The reason a lot of people like to remove burbles on their car is that Removing them gives the car more of a racy vibe. So think of like a Porsche GC3 or a Ferrari 812. When you rev them, they don't go burble, burble, burble. It's just straight line revving. Great kind of racy vibe of the car. So I'm gonna teach you that today. So without further ado, how I do that, the app is called Bimmerlink, and we're gonna get going. Okay, so firstly I wanna say, I'm really sorry how dirty the car is. There's just no point washing it this time of year. You'll drive down the road and it'll rain and it'll just be completely dirty again. Also, if you've got like straight pipe all the way through, no down pipes, no OPF, etc., etc., no, no back box, no valves, no matter what I show you today, it's still gonna be too loud on track. So at that point, just find out where the microphones are around the track and just don't hoon it past that. So, give you a baseline, efficient sport and sport plus. I'm going to show you how loud the car is right now. So this is efficient. This is sport. This is sport plus. Very loud. Okay, in order to use Bimmerlink, um, you need to have this, an OBD adapter. Um, I'll put a little link down below in the description or a screenshot of the one I've got. This is a V-Gate um, OBD2. Essentially, this uses Wi-Fi to connect to my phone. Now, I'm screen recording on my phone now, um, and I've got, as you can see, three apps on my phone. Bimmerlink, Bimmercode, and Bimmerpost. Bimmerpost is a, a, a forum for BMWs. You can use Bimmer code and Bimmer link, but Bimmer code is more about changing kind of the features within the car. So making sure that start stop function is off by default when you start the car on, um, when you put the car into the reverse, the, the lights come on on the seats. That's Bimmer code. Bimmer link has some of the features in Bimmer code, but it also has features that Bimmer code doesn't have. So for example, um, ASD, so the fake sound within the car, that's within the two apps. You can turn, um, fake sound off um, on either app. 
Now I've done that on Bimmer code and so I don't touch it on Bimmer link because I don't want to mess with the two apps, turn one off on one and turn, the up, turn it on again on the other app. I don't want to just mess with it at all. So I use Bimmer link for turning the burbles off and keeping the flaps permanently closed or permanently open. So this was about 25 pounds on Amazon. Again, I'll link it down below. You use this and you plug it into the OBD port um, in your car. So you plug that in there. And then I go onto Wi-Fi and I, I click on V-Link. Now, you wanna make sure the engine is turned on um, or specifically the, the ignition is turned on. I keep the engine on so I don't run out of battery. And then you also wanna make sure that you're basically in airplane mode. Um, I need to turn Wi-Fi back on. You want to be in airplane mode, so in case someone texts me or a phone call comes in, etc., it ruins the coding within the car. I don't want that to happen. I don't want it to disrupt it at all. So I go into airplane mode, go into Wi-Fi, use V-Link and connect to the OBD adapter. So my phone has now connected to my OBD adapter and I'll go over to Bimmer Link and I'll click connect. So my phone is now connected to the OBD adapter. I've now connected to Bimmer Link and this is the, uh, the home screen that you're welcomed with. I'm going to be sharing my screen on here anyway because it's probably quite bright. The two features that we're going to be focusing on today is exhaust flaps, opening and closing them permanently, and you can also see I've got them in auto right now. Auto means that basically as I'm driving down the road, as it goes over I think 2000 RPM, that's when the valves open, but under that RPM rev range, the valves are closed. That's what auto means. Now putting them as on, and I've just heard them change, means that they're permanently open all the time. So I can hear them change. So, so me sat and right, sit, sitting here right now in idle, the car has got its valves permanently open. I'll do a couple revs. So this is efficient. This is sport. This is sport plus. You'll see that the burbles are still there but the, the volume should be exactly the same. Now I've just coded them to close and I can hear them closing. If you want to go around the back and I'll flip between the two, you might hear the valves opening and closing through the app. One more time. So the valves are now permanently closed. So if I put the car into Sport Plus, it should burble but the valves are permanently closed. Quite an interesting concept, right? So now the car is actually a lot quieter, but I'm still getting burbles because I haven't coded burbles out. So now we're gonna to go to sound tuning and that's where you code the burbles on and off. So if I turn them to off, I'm still in Sport Plus, valves are still permanently closed. Now take a listen. Interesting, right? So if you want to come around here, and I just want to prove to you that I'm still in Sport Plus. As you can see, I'm in Sport Plus. Give it a few revs. Then I'm going to go and turn burbles on. The valves are still closed, so you can't quite hear it. So I'm going to flip the two. I'm going to open the valves permanently and I'm gonna put burbles turned off permanently. Still in Sport Plus, let's have some revs. Racy vibe. No burbles, valves permanently open. So last kind of disclaimer I wanna talk about. If you turn the engine off and you pull the OBD adapter out, the burbles, whether they're on and off and you've coded them, will stay exactly like that. But the valves will resort back to stock, basically back to auto. So if you go on track, you go your hoon round, you close all your valves, then you stop the car, turn the car off, pull the OBD adapter out, um, it will go back to opening the valves again. So make sure you're aware of that. So what I do when I'm driving around is, I just keep the OBD adapter plugged in. So when I stop, turn the car off, and I turn it back on to go for another hoon, the valves are still closed because I haven't unplugged the OBD adapter. I still kind of just go into the app anyway, just to double check that they are permanently closed, um, just because I like to just make sure things are how they should be. So when the car is completely stock and in Sport Plus, um, you have your valves open, all four valves are open. 
but when you are inefficient you are actually closing the outer exhaust tips and so only the uh, the inner ones are open and that causes a lot more back pressure uh, because obviously only one valve one tip one part of the exhaust is allowing the exhaust fumes to exit now with increased back pressure a whole day on track um, it has heated up the center section of my exhaust which I had painted black so you can see here on the outer part of the uh, of the exhaust it's still black you can still kind of see it because it's quite dirty um, but only the center section has melted away because of all the added back pressure so normally day to day if I'm not on track and I have all my exhaust valves open um, the back box doesn't get hot enough to melt the paint so that's kind of just one thing I want you guys to be aware of if you are closing three, essentially three valves or three tips, um, that added pressure is, is going to heat up the exhaust a lot more and may melt um, your back box uh, paint off if you have painted it black. Okay, so that's very bright in my eyes. I'm just gonna leave the camera here. Bimalink is the app that you need and an OBD adapter to do everything I've shown you in the video. Turn the bubbles off, close the valves permanently, have a play around. Remember, if you remove the OBD adapter, the valves will go back to standard, but the burbles should remain off. Thank you very much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, the usual. If you're new, like, comment, subscribe as well. And I'll see you later in the next video. Efficient.